you guys probably saw the flowers in those drone shots. And the flower festival here just ended. So the population of the town just went down by like <laughs> tens of thousands of people. <laughs> We're snacking on some arepas, which are right from Venezuela. This is like some Venezuelan street food. So good. Just walking out of the farmer's market with our haul. Friggin this this jackfruit? I could literally do squats. <laughs> <laughs> Eight dollars for the whole jackfruit. When I was back in the States, I tried to get one of those. Sixty dollars! Sixty bucks for the whole jackfruit. Amigos! Oh my god, <laughs> you got a whole one! Yes! It's like half your size. <laughs> this is amazing! I feel like we have enough jackfruit now to last us maybe, <laughs> maybe two days. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Alright. Enough joking around. Enough messing around. We got stuff to do. Going up to the land, we gotta build some stuff. Drew and I are setting a couple concrete acres in here, and this is what we're going to use to shim up to the frame of the bus. And then eventually what we're going to do is weld the metal shims and this plate together and then to the frame. So not only will it support it with its weight, but it'll support it this way, like vertically, side to side, because there's earthquakes here. So we don't want the bus falling off the pillars. So while the boys are shimming the bus, getting it all ready to hopefully drop the, the back of it today and get it closer to being level and getting it more permanent. I'm gonna come over here and clear out a good chunk of this land here um, to utilize it to grow some crops. Pressure off and it drops down. The poop. Such in the poop, bro. Ah, uh, poopy shoes. I think you placed that there. The right cows. Me. The cows made their way through the fence the other day and they just pooped all over the place. But that's good. That's good. That's good manure. We caught them with a drone, though. Yeah. You got good footage. Can I drop the drone footage in right now? Yes. Here's some of Drew's drone footage of the cows it's on really our property. His drone, though. Yeah. It's a good girl. Good girl. Good girl, honey. That's for you, babe. Hey, sweetie. Him. Here's some nummies. Oh, <laughs> That's definitely the closest that they've ever gotten to me, that's for sure. All right, we're about to drop the bus down onto these cement pillars. We're pretty nervous because we had to build this little contraption to get it high enough. And we don't want to crumble. <laughs> if that thing crumbles, we're then a... we have to start over. Yeah. Right, right here, lefty, lefty, Lucy, lefty, tidy. Oh, come on, you know which way it goes. Come on, Lucy. Get your oh, hand we're going up. Get your hand out of there. Under pressure. Get your hand out of there. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Hold it. Wow. Woo! So we're just deflating the tires down now so we can drop the back right half and it should sit around that pillar and be perfectly level. I think we got like pretty lucky. I think we got really lucky. Yeah. And we have indigenous people. They think we're crazy. <laughs> These crazy gringos out here. Check Whoa. that out, you guys. And I'd hate to say it, but that's just dumb luck. Okay. Well, you guys, I think I'm at my limit for the day. And it doesn't look like it did much. But man, it's tiring clearing out a piece of land like this. So, 
I think I'm gonna try to make it a little bit bigger. But for now, it's a start. I'll till up the soil a little bit, wait for my seedlings to get nice and strong, start sprouting out some more, and then pop those little babies right in the ground. Sit. Shake. Shake. <laughs> So a lot of you guys were asking why are we not moving our bus anymore? And if you see this rust underneath here, oh. that's a big reason why. It made this bus age so much faster. Mm -hmm. So it's a 2003 when we got it, it only had 70,000 miles on it in 2017. Right. But it has rust of a 2003. So things are breaking, not because they're worn out, but because it's so rusty. Oh, that's nice. That is real nice. You like that sound? Yeah, I like that. I like the little like. Like, yeah, yeah, that's super satisfying. So this is just to help, we ground all the rust off, and now this is just to help protect the metal as much as we can. Five. Ah, I don't have as much leverage. I know. Ready? Six. Okay, that's after the AC Sace pumps. <laughs> Look how close. What do you think, maybe maybe three more? Four more pumps. Maybe just a couple. Oh, a couple more, yeah, a couple more. Well, that's it, you guys. The bus is nice and level. I know it might not look level because the ground's on a slant, but it's level. Kaylee's just building up the last cement pillar. And uh, now we just gotta wait for the cement to dry. And then, Bob, <laughs> what do we do, Bob? What do we do once the cement's all dry? Huh? So we're so excited to move back into this bus. It's probably gonna be about a week, and then we'll be in here. Come on, get out of the way. You're in the shot. You're, you're in the shot. <laughs> but, we gotta go somewhere, we got a little errand to run. We gotta go get some paperwork done for our motorcycle, and anytime we have to do anything with the Panamanian government, it's always a run around. So you guys remember this motorcycle? We're still trying to get it legally registered here in Panama. In the process. So just to get you guys caught up to speed, we have been to four different government buildings and we finally figured out what we need to do. So we finally found out, this is the building. This is where we need to get our motorcycle inspected. Then we need to wait eight business days. Then we need to go back to Boguete. Then we need to come all the way down to Dolega. And then we need to go back up to Boguete. And then we don't know what's after that. We just need to wait, see what people say, go with the process and just be really, really patient. Finito. Yeah. We thought it was gonna take much longer, but it's nice having a friend who can speak fluent Spanish. Absolutely. We can get we can get by, but thanks someone, to this <laughs> thanks to this special guy right here. When you have someone who's totally fluent, it makes it make things you know you can give them a little sweet talking, That's you know, get right. things moving. That's right. Rather than having to come back tomorrow, we got it all done today. Yep. So now we just gotta wait eight days, and then hopefully in eight days we do the next step, and then another step, and then another step, and then we don't know. <laughs> so maybe we'll have the motorcycle in like a month or so. <laughs> Kaylee and I are just hanging out in Buckle Tip, right over there. What else is new? We're getting a little bit of work done. We're working on the itinerary for our retreat that's coming up. It's actually in just about one month, so there's two spots left if any of you guys are interested in coming to El Salvador, experience El Salvadorian culture. So we're in here just working on the final itinerary. But I just want to take a second to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Surfshark. If you use any public Wi-Fi networks, or if you do any work in coffee shops, or maybe in airports, or anywhere you're connecting to a public Wi-Fi, it is so important that you use a VPN. In Surfshark, it's the VPN that we use. I think Surfshark has sponsored four or five of our videos now. And in all honesty, the thing we love about it the most is how easy it is to use because all you have to do 
install the app on your phone. If you look right there in the middle, there's a Surfshark app. And all you have to do is open it up and turn it on and you just let it run in the background. Do you know what a VPN is? What? Do you know what a VPN is? No, what is that? Do you know what a VPN is? VPN, very personal. So if you guys are like these guys, Roberto Rodrigo, and you don't know what a VPN is, a VPN, it keeps all your personal information safe. So what it does is it puts a middleman in between you and anyone else that's on a public network that's trying to get your information. So basically, if you're connected to a public Wi-Fi network and you're not using a VPN, if there's someone on there that wants to get your information, they can get it because you're basically broadcasting your information to everyone else that's on the public network. So let's say you go and you try to log into your bank. They can get your bank login credentials. If you log into your email, they can get your login email credentials. They can get a lot of stuff just by being connected to a public Wi-Fi network. So if you're looking for a VPN, the good news is Surfshark is offering you guys 83% off in your first month for free. So thank you very much Surfshark for sponsoring this video. But now, as you can see, it's closing time here in Buckle Tip. You ready to get Edward? Let's go back home, baby. Hey, do you have any advice about cutting up a jackfruit? Open up a jackfruit. Huh. Yeah, what? knife, oil, a lot of patience, and don't cut it horizontally. Cut. No, vertically. Horizontally. Cut it horizontally or cut it vertically? Horizontally, you have to cut it. <laughs> You're supposed to pretend that it tastes good for the camera. <laughs> we put the banana and jackfruit ice cream in the freezer for about 15-20 <clears throat> minutes to kind of get it a little bit harder. You have it all over your chin. It's so good. <laughs> oh, boy. Wait, it's dripping. What? You have to at least pretend like you like it. That's what everyone does when they're filming themselves eating food. I don't know if I'm gonna make that again. <laughs> we're gonna enjoy this ice cream more so. Jordan's gonna go enjoy this ice cream. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna call it a night. That about does it. We love you guys so much. And I don't know why I did this when I said that, but hey. Do you guys love how long it takes Kaylee to sign off of a vlog? I'm the worst at signing off vlogs. I really am. That's why I always, before, I used to go, that's about it. <laughs>